All right, here we go. Question number seven from our college algebra homework number two in my lab math. Uh, again, we're asked to find the difference quotient, and here we're given a quadratic function. So let's get started. Again, the first place that I like to start is just copying down the difference quotient, which is f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And then if we look at what this is telling us to do, it says we need to find f of x plus h and then subtract the original function. So the first thing to find f of x plus h, it says to take x plus h and plug it in for every x in f of x. And so that's going to give us 7 times x plus h quantity squared plus 9x, but the x gets replaced with x plus h plus 6. So all of that, all of that stuff comes from the f of x plus h. And then we need to subtract the original function, which is 7x squared plus 9x plus 6. And that is all over h. And I don't know if you can tell, but this is going to be a long problem. Long problem. All right, next step to uh, simplify, we're going to have 7 times x plus h. Now the x plus h being squared means to multiply by itself, and that's going to indicate the FOIL method. Next, we can go ahead and distribute the 9 plus 9x plus 9h plus 6, and then this negative back here can distribute, giving us minus 7x squared minus 9x minus 6 all over h. Whew, all right, next step. Let's do the FOIL method and do a little CLT. That's combined like terms. We're going to have 7 times x times x, x squared. On the outside, x times h gives us plus xh. On the inside, again, x times h gives a plus xh. Last but not least, we have h times h plus h squared. And then I'm going to notice that I have a plus 9x and a minus 9x, so those cancel. So then we have plus 9h from this guy. Plus 6 minus 6 cancel. And then we have minus 7x squared from this guy. And that's all the stuff left in the numerator. And that is all over h. And now we need to do a little combine like terms. We have 1xh plus 1xh. That's going to give us 2xh plus h squared plus 9h minus 7x squared, all over h. Now let's go ahead and distribute the 7, giving us 7x squared plus 14xh plus 7h squared plus 9h minus 7x squared, all over h. And we're getting close to the end. At this point, I've got 7x squared minus 7x squared. Those cancel. I now have only three terms left in the numerator. Notice that all of those terms do have an h. And so we're going to do, <clears throat> what are we going to do? We're going to factor out the h. Mm, let's see. So if I factor out an h, that's going to leave me 14x plus 7h, because this h was squared. If I take out an h, that leaves an h, plus 
plus 9 all over h. And if you want to check to see what happened there, if you take and distribute this h back in, you'll see that we get our terms back. So that means that we factored out correctly. And now we have h and h that are going to cancel here. And that leaves our final answer, 14x plus 7h plus 9. Oh, man, let's see if that's anywhere close to right. 14x plus 7h plus 9. Bam. All right, so I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.